Saturday. Yeah, that's, that's a Wednesday. It's a election day. And if we can see that, that's a little mark. Hey, we're in South Africa, you know, so when you, you know, they mark you so that you know they, that you voted, so you can go five or six times. I suppose I can go on races, but they got my number and all. It doesn't matter. Look, uh, I voted. I voted for student government, you know, uh, SRC, student something committee, student whatever it is. You say, well, don't you know what you're voting for? Well, the way I figure it, I'm voting for, like, uh, see, and, and, and politics have got to start someplace. Well, it does start someplace, but official politics. Like, people don't understand, especially in universities, especially in South Africa, the SRC is the Student Representative Councils. Okay, I didn't know what it was. Um, and through all the schools, you know, that's the first level of politics, you know. And when stuff happens, like a couple of years ago, when uh, when uh, basically the ANC lost the DA at, at the University of Fort Hare, then it was like, whoa, people went crazy, all kinds of things. Like, even, even somebody in the administration tried to cool the elections. It was, it was like very interesting. So these elections at the, at the university level really matters. That's weird. It's almost like, I like guess, guess in the states there would be like your local elections back then. Because what happens these are your leaders that's going to be in politics like you know ten or twenty years from now. So they might be ministers or whatever have you. So it's, it's actually more important than people realize. And I think the power of the students they don't understand how important it is. And which is interesting because people ask me who would I vote for? I tell them. I say it's my secret vote. I didn't care. I could tell them because I always vote for the underdog. The reason why I for underdog is because to, to me this whole election thing is a sham and if I and I, and I don't want to vote for the major parties I vote for like a minor a minor party so that you know they can get a little more you know strength the next time around because it really doesn't I it doesn't matter to me but it, it doesn't really matter to me okay so I bring this up because after I voted I was, well, I was walking around well I had to pay something then I, when I met uh, one, of the, one, of the, uh, one of the international students from, uh, from Nigeria guy from Nigeria and he was talking about, and, and, and I was telling my little strategy, whatever have you. He said, but you wasted a vote. I said, no, you never waste a vote, even if you don't vote. It's not a wasted vote, because in this modern age, you got statistics or whatever have you. And if like, the, like if 20 years ago, they, it was like 98% of the people voted, and like now, only like 75% of the people voted, and then later, only 60, see, as it goes, and that gets counted too somehow. And plus, I was talking about this Princeton survey that they did, and they said that basically, uh, voting, if you vote, now people have their hopes and dreams, they think that's gonna change, but what they, did, what they found out, the policy that's made, right, uh, the policy that's made is not predicated on what the voters want, any polling of the voters or even the voters voting. It's really predicated on what the donor class who, who controls the politician wants. So whatever the donor class wants, they get. The voters don't get anything. So it is a it is a sham. The system is rigged, you know. But what do you do about it? You don't just sit back and let the and let the shammers, the, you know, let the donor class, let let the cap, let the corporatists, the capitalists, whatever you want to call these forces that want to remain power. And they know that politi politically, if they, they change policies and they they tweak things when they put something through and you think it's going through, and then they they get their boys, you know, to to, to tweak it a little bit so that so that they, that, they, that they know where all the all the they, ins and outs of that little bill or that policy that they've made isn't so they can, you know, and then plus they have that whole revolving door thing, you know, where, where they're serving in government, then they go back to their corporate state, then they go back to government so they can keep on tweaking the rules. You see, so it's all, the whole thing is weird. We know that. But how do you fight that? Well, like I said, on this level, on this college level, on, on, on the local level, you start getting people in there that if they if they buy them out, hey, that's all right. You get somebody else, so you know they're bought out. You know that, so you got to change the system, make sure you have a policy, you know, you have you have transparency and all the rest of that. You know, those 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 big words. But most importantly, you, somehow you have to be involved. But I, I I was telling this guy that I blame because I'm a little old. I blame my generation for messing up. Because what we didn't do, we we didn't continue education. We didn't tell people what, you know what, what what to do with this vote, how to make it count, how to you know how 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 to how to vote, how the real politics works, and and how these uh, nefarious forces can come in and steal your policies, even though you you put some in there that you you, you you thought they were aligned with your policies, but they didn't make the policies exactly the way you wanted to make it. They gave you a little window dressing, but they gave the real meat and the and the potatoes, if you will, uh, or the nitty gritty of those politics to those donors who, who control them and, and, and who actually pay them a little extra whatever they whatever however they do it, you know? So so that's my whole thing about voting. My thing is about voting. Vote, vote, vote as you can, but, but get yourself a little knowledge. Every time you get a little knowledge, talk to, you know, actually the party I did vote for, I actually talked to the candidate, one of the candidates, 
were there. So I understood a little bit, you know, he made sense to me. I didn't talk to all the candidates. I mean, they should have came to me, but we won't get into all that. It's also my responsibility to go to them and find out, because we were in the college camps, and I can talk to each one and say, well, why should I vote for you and blah, 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 and, blah, and I can do all that stuff. They'll give me the political answers, and then I'll just, you know, say, no, no, I want political answers. Here's what I want, blah, 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 blah. And that's what you're supposed to do, but we don't do it because we know. Uh, politically literate, <laughs> power literate, if you will, you know. So, but uh, but it is a shift in the world. Things are going. People are getting more engaged. I'm I'm, I'm very anxious to see what these what the, what this elections for the student council, uh, 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 you know, student representative council turns out here at the University of Fort Hare. And that's that's what I hope will happen. Ooh, there's a there's a sound truck going to tell people to vote. I guess. Well, I don't think someday. Maybe they do do that. Anyway, that's 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 that's. that's Sounds, I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's, 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 that's it for me, for, for T, for the Patterson's taking the chance to bet, letting you know what I only suspect.